nefsi emit Tin hizim bin nefsi emit Hello? Hey, uh, Christian Prince, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. I, long time no see. Uh, you remember, maybe you remember me, Rob Christian from Paul Talk. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you, Rob? How are <laughs> you? Good to, good to have you. Yes, I remember you for sure. Yeah, good to see you, my friend. I've been uh, online for a long time, but it's always a pleasure to talk to you, my brother. Thank you. Uh, Same here. You were mentioning the, the red <coughs> panties, right? That Mohammed stole? Yeah. <laughs> Did you find it? Did you know where it is? Uh, anything, any, any news? I think some Jew uh, he stole it, man. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, we have to accuse the Jews. <laughs> no, it cannot be the Jews because the, the the Muslims are the ones who are accusing the Prophet of stealing it. <laughs> no, it's always the Jews. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, but but in this case they cannot do that because the Muslims are accusing the Prophet. It's not uh, like an out uh, or like it's an inside job, you know. <laughs> inside job yeah, yeah. That must be the case yeah like 9 11. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know uh, uh cp about uh the, the story of jacob it's really uh very interesting you know you know muslims love to uh use the verse from deuteronomy 18 18 right to show us that hey this is muhammad that uh uh is mentioning here in this uh, deuteronomy uh, verse mm. right uh, but they forget one thing that when it says uh, there will be a prophet from among you, fellow Israelites. Now, you mentioned something really important uh, when you talk about Israel. Who is Israel? It's Jacob, right? When we go to the Bible, we know who is Israel. It's Jacob. But of course, the Muslims, the Abduls, they don't know who Israel is. So every Christian needs to ask this question first. Who is Israel and what does it mean to be a fellow Israelite? So when you explain to them that Jacob is Israel, then how is it possible that Muhammad uh, is a brother of, an, of Jacob? That's a problem, right? Well, uh, first of all, why the Muslim even looking for Muhammad in the, in the Torah when the Quran said that the one who mentioned his name is Isa and he called him even Ahmad. He did not even call him Muhammad you see yes the Muslims the, the Muslims always like you know there, there's a there's a short of an uh, intellect uh, if we go in the Quran you will see that the one who will mention the name of what is called the Prophet of Islam is a Isa and therefore that will not be in the Old Testament it says here why the call Isa Ibn Maryam hmm? uh, uh, that there is a prophet after me will come his name is Ahmad not Muhammad and this yes. is in chapter 61 verse number six so if the name of muhammad is coming in the old testament that's mean the one who making a lie here is allah for this is the wrong statement the wrong location but brother it's muhammadim not ahmed <laughs> yeah but at the same time at the same time why muhammad in the time in his time did not say to them okay my name is there muhammadim <laughs> muhammadim huh? You see, there's many things about the Muslims. When Christians, they debate with Muslims, they forgot because they don't have really the knowledge. Like when a Muslim, yeah. as an example, say to you, uh, that's uh, the name of Muhammad in the Bible. Shouldn't you ask him why Muhammad never say so? And yes. He, why, why he don't quote why he don't quote any of those verses the Muslims are quoting for us today? Why he didn't quote from uh, uh, John or Luke or from the Old Testament? Why Muhammad never say, uh, uh, this is the verse speaking about me? And when the Muslims accuse, as example, Paul, they call him names. Shouldn't Muhammad be the first to know about Paul if he's a bad person? Why Muhammad never say the bad word about Paul? Actually, Islamic books, all of it, speaking about Paul as a messenger of Allah. So exactly. what, what the Muslims today are suffering from, Muslims, they are disconnected with their own cult. They don't even know their cult, but yet they claim to know your own belief. They want to teach you what your Bible means, but they cannot even explain to us one verse in the Quran. Yeah, but the, you know, the thing is, uh, to be honest, uh, Christian <laughs> Prince, those Muslims, the Muslims that they try to show you or show me or any Christian, hey, this is the verse that is talking about Muhammad. Those people are not smart. If I was a truly smart 
and really genius Muslim, you know what I should answer to a Christian? But, uh, you, had, but, but, please, please, please hold, 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 hold. Did you say? Did you say if I am a smart or genius Muslim? I mean, how you can find that? Are you? Uh, are I you think, dreaming or I something? Think if you are a Muslim uh, Christian prince, I think you would have been a very smart Muslim. <laughs> are you a high or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know why? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I know, I know. But, I would say, hey, you Christians and Jews, you changed your Bible and you removed the name of Ahmed. Hmm. But, here, you but you see here that the Muslims, they have a problem actually. Is the name of Muhammad Muhammad or Ahmed? Because if this is a name, the name should not be changed. If it's a title, then it's a title. And this proves my point that Muhammad is not the name of this guy. This guy, he claimed to be God. He called himself Muhammad. What Muhammad? If we ask any Muslim what Muhammad means, he would say the praised one. If yes. Muhammad is the praised one, so who is Allah? Allah is... Uh, the the praise, it's the no, sold idol, right? He is the, the idol. No, he is the praise too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, aren't you then a mushrik <laughs> CP? If you uh, call Muhammad uh, the anointed one? That's shirk. Hmm. Shirk, right. the Shahada is shirk. You know, they associate the name of their God with the name of a man. Yes. Even Allah himself is a mushrik because Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. Imagine guys, Allah, he made a piece of furniture. And now Allah, he look at this chair, like what is missing there? What is missing there? What? He sit in it, he flip it, he's not comfortable, something really missing there. And bingo, he got it. It is the name of Muhammad. So Allah, he decide to write in his chair that there is no God but Allah and there is no messenger but Muhammad. And then Allah, he felt so comfortable and now his chair is so beautiful after he wrote the name of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a God? He need to write a name of a man. In his chair, a man. Do you know what a man is, guys? To yeah. just to to make you like you know think about it. If you look at the Earth in this space, the whole Earth is not even a, in the size of a dust compared to this universe. Amazing, a huge universe. So imagine the God who created all this huge, crazy universe. He wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. Yeah, but CP, you know, the thing is, it's not only that. You have many gods in Islam. We know that the Quran has 140 chapters. So you have 140 chapters that will be God. So you 140 plus Allah plus Muhammad. Then you have Omar who uh, abrogated Mut'a. So Omar is also Allah because he can abrogate the Mut'a of Allah in the Quran. So how many gods we have now? Well, I think I think our our, our caller here is uh, is is, uh, is is are you fasting Ramadan or something? Me? No, yeah? I, no? I, okay. I forgot, man. I forgot. My friend, the Muslims will say when you say you, you they have one hundred fourteen uh, God in the Quran. You need to explain to them because the Quran is not created, correct? Yes. So <laughs> as long guys, just to explain to you what he's saying, the Quran according to Muslim is not created. Okay, Allah is not created. Okay, so now we have two uncreated object or person whatever you want to call them as yeah, long the Quran is 114 good, chapters the Quran is also God it uh, must be a divine because it's any created yeah. who is the one who created the Quran the Muslim they say it is any created okay yes, so now exactly. Allah is any created and Quran is not a created so now we have two uncreated individuals how that can be how you Muslim yeah. you say to us Allah is one and then we find that there is two uncreated because if Allah is the creator, then anything after him should be created by him. Yeah, but and what about Yamin Allah, the, the black stone of Allah? Who uh, is well, you know, Allah? two days ago, a Muslim, he called me and he got me busted. He said, this is weak. <laughs> <laughs> it is weak? Yamin Allah is weak? Yeah, everything but, is weak. Yeah, yeah, but it will have a mouth and it will speak. So No, Yamin, Yamin Allah, Yamin Allah, we, uh, uh, the black stone they say that it is it is a weak hadith but uh, the the hadith about Allah have uh, right hands is not weak if you remember uh, Allah he have uh, two hands and both of them uh, in the right side which is very nice actually you know imagine you are in the beach and there's like a you know like you're a single like me and you have two hands in the right side and both of them in your pocket and walking in the beach the women they will go crazy man you have two hands in the right side and nothing in the left side so according to muhammad 
Allah have two hands and both hands of Allah are in his right side as you see in the front of you on the screen yeah. but uh, CP if Allah has two right hands wouldn't Allah be a really funny creature actually I think he, I think <laughs> I think he's a cute <laughs> me myself I would like to take a selfie with him from the left side so I can spank him and he will not be able to beat me back because if you if your two hands in the right side how you can defend yourself from the left side but I think Allah would have a nice time one shisha in the right hand the other shisha in the, the other right hand right imagine Allah smoking two shishas with one if two right hands man <laughs> if I if I if I put if I put the cell phone in the pocket of Allah in the left side how Allah can get it <laughs> and why Allah have I mean what the problem with the Muslims that Allah hands both are in the right side you see the Muslims because Islam is an is a counterfeit uh, religion they they learn from the Old Testament and from the Bible that the word the word right you see the right the right side of God it's uh, the right uh, uh, you know so, so the word right have a have a religious meaning but Muhammad because he take it in a literate way so his God became so funny. So now Allah have two hands and both of them they are right because it's going to be a problem if Allah have a left hand. Because remember, shaitan have left hands. Allah cannot have left hands. Shaitan, yeah. he eat if you when you eat by the left hand, shaitan eat with you. Man, to be honest, I think this Allah of uh, Muslims really looks funny. Imagine he has two right hands. He is short. He is uh, fat. And he has really curly hair, right? Yeah. So if you if can we can you draw Allah for for us uh, CP? I mean you can do it, right? Well, I know you are. Yeah, a really, actually, a really I good artist. I won many prize prize before about drawing, as you know, and actually, you know, I'm I'm sure you you have some of my paint. Did you buy any of them? <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can put it besides uh, Mona Lisa in uh, Fran France. Yeah. France. Well, if we go to the Hadith. We will find Muhammad describe how Allah looked like and Muhammad he was confused about how Allah how the Muslims they will believe in the Antichrist so here in the, the hadith in front of us it says that Allah so so I don't know what does that mean S A W W W W W dot com S said I told you so much about the Dajjal the Antichrist Muslims why why you Muslims believe in the Antichrist why the Antichrist is Antichrist not anti Allah <laughs> Why he is not anti Muhammad? Muhammad is the last prophet. Look like Muhammad is not the problem for the devil. Christ is the problem. Here we go. Even even the Muslims believe is exposing Islam. How in the world you say to us, "My Jesus is just a prophet," but yet the devil is antichrist? Yeah. Why in I'm the gonna... world, if Allah He sent one hundred twenty four thousand prophet, why the devil choose to be antichrist not anti muhammad not anti abraham not anti david not anti anyone especially muhammad why antichrist they have no answer let it go then muhammad he says i'm afraid that you may not understand the antichrist is short hinted and i and i sightless neither protruding nor deep-seated i mean look at the description and what muhammad is worried about he is worried that they will miss believe in the wrong person and now he confirmed that this description is exactly the description of Allah except Allah is not one-eyed so what the difference between the Antichrist and Allah is just one eye the right eye is not damaged Allah is a man yeah. you know I think Allah Allah looks like a pirate uh, CP I don't know really uh, you know if you remove <laughs> I don't know if you look it, like a pirate <laughs> yeah if you look at the description you look weird look like Charlie Chaplin somehow you know I don't know but uh, but the important is why the Muslims even will will uh, 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 like why Muhammad is worrying about the Muslim will be confused between Allah and the man the man is a man because the, the Jal the Antichrist he is a person as you see he will come as a man and Muhammad described him as a man, as a human being. So why the Muslims will think that he is Allah? And why the description is about physical shape? If this guy is the devil, I mean, can't he fix his eye? He can go to any clinic, you know? 
They can install a fake one. Nobody will notice. Isn't it the Quran and isn't it what the Muslims believe that Shaitan, the genie, he come, he came and he took the look of uh, of uh, of Suleiman. That's mean he the, the Shaitan and all the Muslims believe that Shaitan can change his. Uh, uh, yeah, he's shape shifter, right? Yeah, he's shape shifter and he can change his look. Even the Quran says, "You see him, but you he, he, he see you, but you don't see him." So. Uh, this is why he's called genie actually the word Jannah is coming from the jinn. What is the jinn? Jinn is uh, some something you cannot see So the the person who is able or capable capable sorry of being unseen And he can change because how he can be unseen because he changed his shape He can be Muhammad. He says the black dog is a devil So what which mean the genie can take the shape of a black dog the most believe even genie can come to you as a human and have sex with you uh, uh, the genie can come as a camel can come as a cow can come as a tree can come as anything so if this is a genie and the Antichrist is the Dajjal who is a shaitan which means he's a genie so what the point of saying he have a problem with the right eye yeah but also a jinn can come also in a human shape because in Islam a jinn can have sex with a, a Muslim woman right yes yes not uh, only so he's, he's I mean, can't he give himself a second eye and look like Allah? I mean, the only difference is that Allah has more than one eye, right? So, I mean, if he, if Shaitan can do anything, he can look like Allah. So, what's the problem? Muhammad, he met with some genie. He claimed that he met with some genie from Nasibin, which is an, it's a, it's an Assyrian, uh, 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 you know, uh, like territory at that time, and he claimed that those people are genie. Why? Because they are tall. And um, and then he met another group. He claimed that they are genie because they are black. You know? Yeah, and and this Sabine, it's still uh, a neighborhood in Syria. It still exists. Yeah, I know. No, it's I know it exists. But yeah. I mean, this guy he uh, he he met with people and he claimed um, that they are a genie, and but they are in the shape of a human being. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, CP, uh, another thing, you know, you know about uh, the story that two Jewish women came to Aisha and they basically played with her a game, right? And they trolled her about uh, uh, Azab al Qabr, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, punishment that, of the grave. Yeah. But you know, uh, when you look at uh, uh, the different thing, when you when Muslims love to give us Surah 2, uh, verse 79, where it says that. The Jews uh, played uh, uh, with something, you know, uh, they wrote uh, scripture and they said this is from Allah. But if you go to Tafsir and Jalalain, for example, they played a, the exact same game with Muhammad, you know. They wrote something, some book, and they said to him, hey, uh, this is from Allah. Yeah? Exactly the same game. Those Jews, they're really something, you know, they are really trolling Jews. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, uh, the the Jews in the time of Muhammad, obviously, um, they made Muhammad angry for sure, and they got him busted in many ways. However, you know, the stories about the Jews from the Islamic source, I believe most of it is fabricated. Um, remember, you know, this is one-sided history, same as the Christians. Yeah. You know, you yourself, you came from the Middle East. If you watch in the month of Ramadan, and this is now we are in the Ramadan, they play a, a series like movies about Islam and Jewish and Christians. Yeah. Always in the movie, they make the Jewish guy or the Christian guy is a guy who have a long nose and he have a nose like a like a chicken, you know, like his like a witch, you know. Yeah, he's an ugly yeah. guy, disgusting. He have no honor. He like money. He drink wine, and his wife she sleep around. And there are people who spend the night just having sex and having uh, drinking wine, and the Muslims are the people who is praying to God, spending yeah. their day praying, asking Allah for forgiveness, and yeah. their faces is like you know, glorious people. Yeah, but CP, you have one problem. If you go to the Hadith, you will see that in the early uh, period of Islam. The men they used to go around with their meal par uh, meal parts dripping, right? You have it in the hadith. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so how can they make that claim when in in Ramadan there is a place? You know, I think it's in Medina. I'm not sure if it is Mecca or Medina. I think it's in Medina. They go around and they have sex and uh, they have dripping uh, meal parts. 
Uh, but if you, go, if you go to the English translation, it's totally different, right? Maybe you can explain to the audience. Yeah, actually, uh, here uh, it says, imagine, like, uh, guys, do you see it? This is the hadith he's talking about. Uh, here they are doing tawaf, they are doing hajj. And exactly. they are, and during the hajj, the guy is saying that we used to go around the Kaaba and our penises drip in semen. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Yes. We get out with our male organs dripping with semen. Now, why in the world those people, they are going to go around the Kaaba and their male organs dripping semen? Many Muslims because are... it was allowed. It was allowed because they have sex around the Kaaba because this is it was a yeah. sexual religion you know yeah. it was Do a sexual imagine? religion people they go uh, uh, and the different hadith mentioned that they used to go naked around the Kaaba totally naked you know yeah. uh, otherwise uh, uh, I mean what what do you mean your penis is dripping semen like is it like uh, the faucet is broken or something I know what's happening here yeah, what a nasty, filthy, sick, sex room. Oh, please don't insult the prophet. Guys, I did not insult him. This is the caller. You know, I am not. Yeah. Disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> sue me, guys. Sue me. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with you. That Muhammad, he was a very just, you know, he's just an open minded man. He's hippie. Yeah, but he, he, didn't he uh, used to clean his hands uh, with the clothes of Aisha when uh, they had sex? Oh. I mean, very clean, yeah. Oh, he used to clean his hands in the in the floor, actually. Uh, but but you see but you see uh, the point of the prophet doing that he is the best example for Jean Claude Van Damme you know him this actor they ask him in an interview in Emirat how you can maintain yourself to be healthy like this and you are in this age he said look at the best example as example the prophet Muhammad <laughs> yeah. what a scam this guy he is doing a movie is is uh, the, is paid by the Arab by the Muslims in the Emirat, so he, he know what they like to hear. You know, he he's preparing himself. So he said, "Look, as an example, the best prophet, the prophet he used to eat his boogers, the prophet he used to drink the soup full of fleas, and the prophet used to be full of lies, and the prophet he used to take a shower with dead dogs and women bl blood from period, and yet the best example is the prophet." <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, and Um Salama loved to uh, pick the lies from his hair, right? Wasn't um, it? Um, um Salama, Salama and Um Haram. Oh, yeah, man. many, many of them actually. Yeah, but uh, but it remember, must be a great hobby, right? Yeah, but remember, be, uh, the, yeah, at that time, <laughs> picker of, uh, yeah, actually, I don't know if you remember. Once I asked a Muslim uh, in Nepal talk, he said, at that time, people don't kill the lies because it was the only entertainment they have. <laughs> Imagine how many, how many Sahaba, uh, because Muhammad had uh, lies, they did it too, right? Because uh, everything uh, the Prophet did, they, they did the same. Do you Prophet remember, did. Rob, did you remember once uh, when this guy, uh, what his name, Osama Abdullah, he came to Pal Talk in my room and he said to us, you Christians are faithful full of lies? Yeah, 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 and you showed them the hadith. Right? Yeah, I said to him, so are you saying the one who have lies is dirty? He said, sure. Well, you know, do you know what lies happen? Why? He said, I said, explain to us why. He said, because it's stupid, you stink and you didn't take a shower. <laughs> and then I yeah, said to you him, don't, you don't go easy on these guys. Man. Yeah. And then I said to him, so what do you, what do you, what do you say if I show you a prophet, he have lies? He started reading <laughs> the hadith. He said, um, 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 okay, I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daif hadith, Habibi, Daif yeah, in the in the other time, he came to us, and uh, he he uh, you know we were talking about magic. He took the mic. He said, "Only stupid people believe in magic." I said, "Are you sure, Abdul?" He said, "Yeah, I'm very sure." I said, "So what do you say about the Quran speaking about Allah is the one who teach magic?" He said, "It's proven scientifically. It's false. What are you talking about?" So I show him the verse, and then the Muslim they made articles against him, saying this guy is a kafir, and he is denying that magic is coming from Allah. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. What we can say? Let us hope that some Muslims will call us. Do you have any any more questions? Uh, no, brother. It was it is a really pleasure to uh, to speak to you after such a long period. Uh, keep it up, guys. Uh, please support uh, CP. Uh, 
uh, and uh, God bless my friend and maybe we will talk uh, again soon thank, thank you. you thank you quite a time for really nice thank you bye bye thank you see, see you my